Hello everyone. Okay, in this video we're continuing on from the previous video. In the last video we saw that um, we proved using the definition of span and linear independence that if we have a basis for a vector space, um, these are the elements of the basis, then uh, every vector in the vector space has a unique representation as a linear combination of the basis vectors. Okay. Um, in this video, uh, let's do just a couple examples and then there will be um, the next video will just be about uh, kind of the coordinates of a vector. Okay, so um, let's just do a quick, a couple quick examples. Okay, let's take uh, the basis B, which is going to be, um, let's see. This is going to be a basis of C3. Remember, C3 is just uh, triples of complex numbers. So they look like three complex numbers in a column. Okay. And let's take, um, let's find the coordinates of a vector v. And my vector v is just going to be like an arbitrary vector. Okay. Um, Okay, so this means solving an equation. Um, what, uh, like, take a take a just a minute and try and write down how you would try and write, like, what what do you get? What equation do you get when you try and write v as a linear combination of these three vectors? Okay. So just pause or something and try it. Okay. Um, and if you try it, you know you have to write you have to write this vector as a linear combination of these. Well, a linear combination of these basis vectors looks like this. And now we have to solve this equation. We have to solve it. We're solving for C1, C2, and C3. Okay. Now we work out what the left hand side is. I guess I should put a solution. The left hand side is just a vector in C3. It's just 2C3. Um, in the first coordinate, C1 minus C3, and then C2 plus C3. That's supposed to be equal to ABC. Now, if these two vectors are equal, that means that the first coordinates are equal, second coordinates are equal, third coordinates are equal. So we get three equations that we have to solve. The first equation is 2 times C3 equals A. And you have C1 minus C3 equals B. And C2 plus C3 equals C. So we see C3 is A over 2. And from that we can deduce that um, C1 is A over 2 plus, oh, uh, yeah. So C1 is A over 2 plus B, and C2 is negative A over 2 plus C. Okay. So, 
the first coordinate. The first coordinate of this vector ABC is C1, which is A over 2 plus B. Second coordinate is C2, which is negative A over 2 plus C. Third coordinate is just A over 2. And now to be careful, what we should really do is just check that A over 2 plus B times 0, 1, 0 plus um, negative A over 2 plus C times 0, 0, 1 plus um, A over 2 times 2, negative 1, 1. This should be ABC, and you can see that it's, uh, we do indeed have um, ABC. Good. So this vector ABC relative to this basis has three coordinates, A over 2 plus B, negative A over 2 plus C, and A over 2. Okay, let's do one more example. Okay. Okay, so um, my vector space W, this is going to be the span of, let's say, like, uh, let's say it's going to be a uh, span of some polynomials. Maybe I'll have 1 plus x, 1 plus x plus x squared, and um, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. And then this is sitting inside uh, the polynomials with real coefficients. And Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to, um, uh, let's try and, let's try and find um, right, uh, what we should try and do is just describe, you know, we need a basis, so B is going to be the basis, well, just that we get from here, it's going to be the vectors, or the polynomials, 1 plus x, then 1 plus x plus x squared, 1 plus x plus x squared, plus x cubed, okay, now a vector in W is a linear combination of these three. A vector in W is just um, f, which you might write it like a times 1 plus x, plus b times 1 plus x plus x squared, and plus c times 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, which we could rewrite as a plus b plus c plus a plus b plus c times x plus b plus c times x squared plus c x cubed. Um, from that you can kind of see uh, what the vector space W is, it's the, um, it's like we can kind of describe it as the polynomials which have degree at most three and the first, the coefficients of one and x are the same. So you can kind of check for yourself that um, W is just um, the polynomials like, uh, you know, maybe I'll use different letters if I can. C0 plus C0x plus C1x squared plus C2x cubed 
where C0, C1, C2 are real numbers. Okay. Um, if you want, you can try to prove that. Okay. And now, if we take something living in W, we can rewrite it as a linear combination of elements of B. Okay, so let's find the coordinates. Uh, maybe 2 plus 2x plus um, 0x squared plus 3x cubed, and this is living inside W. Okay. Well, to do that, we have to solve. We must solve 2 plus 2x plus 3x cubed equals a times 1 plus x. Well, I'll, I'll use this form, right? So um, we have a plus b plus c plus a plus b plus c times x plus b plus c times x squared plus c times x cubed. Okay. Now when we look at an equality of two polynomials, what two polynomials are equal if um, all the coefficients of each power of x is equal. So this equation of polynomials implies that 2 must be a plus b plus c. And it means that 2x is a plus b plus c times x, so 2 equals a plus b plus c. It means 0 equals b plus c. And it means 3 equals c. c. Okay, so c equals 3, b plus c equals 0, so b equals minus 3. Now b plus c is 0, so a must be 2. Okay. So a is 2, b is negative 3, c is 3, and we see that um, 2 plus 2x plus 3x cubed must be uh, 2, oh, sorry, it must be, so a is 2, so it must be 2 times 1 plus x plus negative 3 times 1 plus x plus x squared plus, um, plus 3 times 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. Okay. So my vector 2 plus 2x plus 3x cubed, when I'm looking at it with respect to this basis, looks a lot like the vector, the vector in R3, 2, negative 3, 3. So the coordinates, so we might write it like this, the coordinates of this polynomial is relative to my basis B. Well, we just have a 2, a negative 3, and a 3. Okay. And you can do that for el any element of W. So when I look at W, which is a space of polynomials, when I look at it relative to the, this basis, the elements of W just look like um, vectors in R3. Okay. Um, of, at, but no, that only works for like adding and multiplying by scalars, the elements of W, right? Of course you can, like, the elements of W, like, you can multiply them together, but that doesn't really have any relation to um, the coordinate vectors, okay? So this only works if you're, at least uh, as far as we're going here, it only works um, when you're looking at uh, addition, and scalar multiplication. Um, like the multiplication of polynomials is not captured by this. Okay. okay so I'm going to stop this video here and in the next video I just uh, want to talk about more about um, this identification between a vector and its coordinates. So we'll see that next.